all, this is how we jive for mass communication. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can go inside the bias option of your Rocky Stick Gaming Notebook. No matter which version gaming notebook from Asus Rocky Stick you have, you can use this formula. Let me show you this gaming notebook. This is Rock Stick, one of the version with uh, you see League of Gamer and uh, backside. No matter which model you have, the process will be identical. It has i7 processors and 4 GB of graphics card. So we have to open the machine as this. Very simple procedure. Let me show you the keys that what you have to use. The first key in this will be the power button. Then you have to hit F2 key continuously. If you can't go inside the bias with F2 key, try Dell button, F9, F10. Now I'm hitting power button and I'm hitting continuously F2. You can see here, non-stop till you see the bias option. Here we go. Very fast and simple it was. So we are in the bias of rock stick. Let me show you a little bit more closer. So we'll have all the information. So this is the principal bias option. You can see boot priority are do hard drive in this. One is 240 gigabyte of SSD. Another is one terabyte of normal hard drive. The battery indicator you have here, the CPU indicator, you have 32 degrees Celsius at the moment. Two fan is working at the same time. One is 1830 RPM, another is 1805 RPM velocity. This is full screen LCD, other information, USB port, indicator, one USB is connected with the mouse and other things. The BIOS version is 300 Intel i7-77, total memory, here is Ryzen, Intel graphics card here, serial number of this BIOS, okay. This is normal way of BIOS, you have advanced mode with this one. In advanced mode is written all the information. If you want to change the bootloader option, you have to hit this button of boot. So you can come and change any boot option you want. You see first boot I have this hard drive. The second boot I have another hard drive. You have to click this button and change the boot. Which one you want as a principal boot option. So this is how you can change. So after changing all the options you have to hit F10 for save this process. Here we go. I hit OK. And the machine will start automatically. Let's see. Here we go. So this is how you can go inside the BIOS option and you can change the BIOS option. It's very easy, simple tutorial. Okay guys, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this segment, please give me a thumbs up. As always, for more information, go to the Ask Communication, www.askcommunication.com. Have a lovely evening. Take care. Till then, bye-bye.